exchange kids. Kenzie, do you see all those kids out there in TV land? Yeah. Hi guys. Can you say hi? Hi. Guess who I brought with me today? This is Kenzie. Kenzie is my youngest daughter. How old are you, Kenzie? Seven. And I'm Brian. And Kenzie and I are back at the beach, right where Kylie and I left you last time. Kenzie, are you excited to be at the beach today? Yeah. Yeah? And what's your favorite thing to do at the beach? Play ball. Play ball and? And? And swim. Swimming? Oh my gosh, I love swimming. Let, you know what? I want to talk about swimming in a little bit. But I have a question for you before we talk about swimming back there in the ocean. What's Kids, it? will you come swimming with us today? You yeah, sure. You too? Awesome. All right, my question for you is this, Kenzie. Who is your favorite superhero? Hmm. Flash. Flash? And that, Super fast. Batman. Batman? What do you like about Batman? He flies in the air. He runs around with a cape and he has the ability to jump really high in the air and stuff. Uh -huh. Super strong. Wow. Well, you know who my favorite superheroes are? Who? Well, my pretend favorite ones are the same ones Mr. Sean talked about last week. I like Iron Man and I like Captain Marvel. Really cool guys. Um, Why do you not but, like my super guys? Oh, I like your super guys. Um, you know who else likes Flash? Who? Kylie. Kylie loves the Flash, huh? Who likes Batman? Uh, you do. Well. So, so today we're going to talk about superheroes some more. But the superheroes I want to talk about today and share with you all are real world superheroes. Kenzie and I were just talking about the Flash and Batman and Iron Man and um, all of those guys, they're not real. They're made up, they're pretend. We watch them on TV, we really like what they do and we like the fun ideas. But did you know there's real life superheroes? They are. There really are. And do you know where real life superheroes get their superpowers? Uh, I don't know. I'll tell you. The one we're going to talk about today, he gets his superpowers from Jesus. Do you think it would be cool to have superpowers? Yeah. Yeah, real ones, right? Mm -hmm. Not pretend ones. Real, real ones. ones. Yeah, so the guy that I want to tell you about today, Kenzie, his name is Peter. And do you know what Peter did? Do you know his superpower that, that Jesus let him do? He, he walked on the water. He walked on the water. What happens when we go in the water? We float. Do we float or do we sink? We sink. We sink. We don't float. We use things like this, right? What's this? A floaty. This is a floaty. And what happens with floaties? They not sink you. They don't sink you. They help you float, right? Yeah. And what happens when you get tired of swimming? Then you sink again, right? Yeah. If you don't have a floaty. But what happens if you have the ability to walk on water? Do you need a floaty? No. No, you don't. So you let can me, just walk on water. Let me read this story to the kids about this man and what happened with him and what was going on in his life and share when this particular real life superhero did something super heroic. And this, kids, if you're reading at home and you want to find it in your own Bible, it can be found in the book of Matthew and we're in chapter 14, verse 24. And this is following a story where Jesus and the disciples had just fed 5,000 people and Jesus has said back to his buddies, his friends, including Peter, go in a boat and go back out to sea. So all of his disciples have now gone out in a boat and Jesus, after putting all the people that were eating, sent them back home, went up to a hill by himself and then night fell and a storm kicked in and the waves started coming. And so this is the background for what's going on. And it says in verse 24, the disciples were now in trouble, far away from land, for a strong wind had risen and they were fighting heavy waves. At three o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, you should be in bed at three o'clock in the morning, not in a boat in the ocean, right? But at three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them walking on water. When the disciples saw him walking on water, they were terrified. It's three in the morning, it's really dark, you're in a boat, there's waves, you think you're gonna drown, 
and in fear they cried out, it's a ghost! They thought Jesus was a ghost because who walks on water? Jesus! Well, we know that now, but before Jesus, who walked on water? Nobody ever walked on water before. Yeah. This is new. So Jesus spoke out to these guys and he said, don't be afraid. Take courage. I am here. But the disciples, they're, they're, they're trying to figure this out. It's scary. It's dark. They can't see. It's a ghost. Maybe it's a ghost. Is that Jesus' voice? I'm not sure. So Peter, Peter calls out and he goes, Lord, if that's really you, tell me to come to you to walk on the water. Jesus said, yes, come. So Peter, guess what he did? He walked the water. He got out of the boat in a storm with big waves and he walked on the water towards Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the strong waves, what's he looking at? Is he looking at Jesus or the wind and the waves? Jesus. He's looking at the wind and the wave. When he got distracted by the storm and by everything that was going on, this man who is now walking on water with this superhuman power because Jesus enabled him, he started to sink. He became terrified by what was going on around him and he started to sink. And he yelled, save me, Lord. And, he, and, he, and God held his hand. And so he, that's right. Jesus reached out and grabbed his hand and he pulled, and him, he pulled up. him up. And he said, you have so little faith. Why did you doubt me? You know, it's amazing to me that, that God gave someone the ability to walk on water and when you're focused on Jesus, when your eyesight is on Jesus, when the things around, it, when, when you're focused on Jesus and when you're in love with Jesus, He enables us to do those superpower things. How could you focus on Jesus to do a superpower thing? If you're scared in the dark, what's something you could do? You ask God to help us. You pray to God? Yeah. And you ask Him to help you in the dark, right? And what happens when we focus on Jesus? He helps us. But what happens if you just look at the dark and get scared -er and scared -er and scared -er? Then you pray for Jesus. Well, that's right. So, kids, if you have things that scare you or things that make you uncomfortable, you have an opportunity to be just like Peter. Because when we as Christians, since we believe in Jesus and we accept him as Lord and he's in our heart, and Jesus is our superpower enabler, by focusing on Jesus, it gives us what? Superpowers, right? Superpowers. So if we want to be superheroes, and we're talking about superhero week, I thought Peter was a great example because Jesus made Peter into a superhero. Yeah. Wouldn't walking on the water be really cool, kids? Yeah. Do you want to go for a walk with us on the water? Sure. What do we have to focus on? Jesus. There you go. The answer is Jesus. We love you guys so much. It was so fun to be here with Kenzie. And Kenzie, you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. Bye, guys. We'll Go see you next time. Goodbye, exchange kids. Bye, exchange kids.